Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would start my weekly vlog today um, because I'm actually leaving the house today for once, not to go to uni and not to go to work. What is going on? Um, but I'm actually meeting my friend Katie in town today. We're going for lunch. I feel very sophisticated going for lunch. Um, we're going to the new Slug and Lettuce in Leeds, which I'm buzzing about because it looks very Instagram worthy inside. I'm just like, yes, please. Um, so yes amid all the stress of uni and work and whatever else i've been doing this is going to be a nice day for once i mean i'm going to come home afterwards and i've got uni work to do but for the time being i can actually have a chill out and see my friend because i haven't seen her since oh november last year because she goes to uni in nottingham so i don't get to see her that often and when she was like do you want to go for lunch i was like yes please because i need a catch up so yeah i'll show you my outfit of the day so outfit of the day i've got my um denim jacket on which is my black denim jacket on which is from urban outfitters this uh stripy mustard crop top with the buttons which is from primark um belts primark top shop mum jeans then my usual white trainers because who am i if i don't wear my white trainers oh my earrings are from claire's accessories um so yeah, that is my outfit. So yes, I'm very excited um, to go see Katie. I'm buzzing. I've got quite a busy week this week. Like every Monday I write down my weekly schedule and this week I've got quite a bit to do. Um, so I'll quickly run through it with you now. So if, you, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at the sheet I've wrote. So today I've got me and Katie, as I said. Um, I'm going to come home and do my work on my journals. Uh, Tuesday I'm actually going to my event location because... We've got some more stuff to do there, obviously, and as I'm part of the venue team, I've got to go do it. Um, Wednesday, I need to start my essay. I've got a 4,000 word essay due in on, well, it's not an essay, it's a long form writing, which it's like creative, so it's no referencing, which is all right. Um, and that is due in on the 7th of April, and it's currently the 11th of March, so I probably should get started on that because I'm not going to have that long on it, am I, if I don't start? So I'm going to start that on Wednesday. Um, Thursday I'm at uni but I've also got an appointment with Alison which is our, she's like head of our school so I need to go speak to her about if we can get money off the uni for the sponsorship, um, see how much she's willing to give us and then Friday I've got a photo shoot again with another girl from ZBD Management um, and it's also payday which I'm buzzing about because I need it in my life, I'm literally after today I'm going to have 17 pence in my bank account love that for me so um yeah i really desperately need money so i cannot wait for friday to come because, oh, i'm so excited but yeah that is a week rundown for you so yeah anyway let's get going because i should be getting on the bus right now so let's go. <laughs> so I've got the on the beach and we've got a pound star martini uh, it's two fun cocktails so me and Kate both pay for two cocktails each she's just going to get food um, and then yeah I'm really happy appreciate this interior it's absolutely stunning like look at this place and it's coming on a night out because it's beautiful we've got our own booze right above where the bar is it's so I don't know where to start it's so pretty So I'm back home now, it's a long while later, 
um, seeing Kate was lovely today. Like we had some drinks at this new Slug and Lettuce in Leeds, which I haven't actually been to. It's so pretty. It's got like flower blossoms everywhere, and it's so pretty. And the interior just made my day. I was just literally sat there like I am in heaven. Um, it's kind of given me an idea to go there for pre-drinks for my birthday, which I'm gonna be excited about. Um, we had a catch up with her. We walked around um, Trinity. She did a bit of shopping. I kind of just window shop because I was like, I've got no money till Friday. Um, cannot wait for payday. But yeah, now I've come home and I'm currently watching Han Thompson. I'm meant to be writing a 4,000 word essay, but I'm in the loophole of YouTube and I'm not mad at it because I love watching YouTube. So yeah, I'm going to sit and watch Han, Tom Han Thompson's vlog. Then I'm going to watch Charlotte Emily catch one hers. I'm going to watch Beauty Spectrum and I think Fabulous Hands just loaded as well. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll see you in a few hours because that's how long it's probably going to take me because I'm going to get stuck in the loophole of YouTube. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday. Um, so today, as I said, I'm going to my event space that we've got for our exhibition. We're taking some easels, we're taking some frames, we're going to use the tables. We're going to set up like a mock like version of what the room's going to look like just to see how it looks, see how each space turns out, what we can fit in each space. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just not looking forward to it because I feel like I'm just getting stressed out. I'm just going to pop you up because I see it's top. I feel like I'm just getting really stressed out with everything and it is really proper stressing me out. Like... I shouldn't be this stressed, like, but I am. Like, everyone's just stressed me out. Like, I feel like I'm doing everything, not by myself. I just feel like I've done a lot. And basically, it's because, like, my team is obviously doing the stuff at the beginning, whereas everyone else is doing stuff towards the end. So I think in a couple of weeks, I won't be as stressed. But for now, I am just extremely stressed out. Um, also, the fact I haven't started my essay yet is stressing me out, but I just don't have time to do it yet. Like, I have time to do it tomorrow, but that's it for the rest of the week. Like, I am busy every other day doing stuff um so it's getting on my nerves a bit um it's stressing me out a lot but that's uni for you but yeah um it's absolutely chucking it down outside so i've literally just got on my night sweatshirt jeans i'm gonna put my wig coat on umbrella and hope i don't get too wet because hello mr mad pie's wife there's just one random mad pie outside i hate that why can they not just travel around in twos i don't want no bad luck today please um but yeah it's absolutely chucking it down i'm gonna get wet through does that for me. I'm gonna look a mess today, hence why my hair is half up because I just can't be asked with it. Um but yeah, let's go do some work. <laughs> I just can't be bothered. Um but I've got to go in. I've got to go in because if I don't go in I'm gonna miss out and I can't miss out because I'm the main part that's doing it. So I also really quickly nipped into Prime yesterday when I was out with Katie um I've only just literally found the bag in my bag in my bag that I've just quickly packed for uni. I've literally I've for I've literally forgot about it. Um so I thought I'd quickly share with you. I mean it's a bit boring, it's just two things. Um so the first thing again I needed more wipes. Always need wipes. Um and the second thing is this top that I saw in the men's section. Um because if you didn't know I work in the men's and kids section in Primark. Um yeah that's my job i work on the tills so i'm like next please serve customers thank you bye um but i saw this top and these girls kept bringing them over and i was like i really want this then i was like oh where's this from those like it's on the men's floor and i was like i'm gonna get it because the quality is ridiculous and i just fell in love with it so it's just this big baggy white top it's so creased now um and it just says i don't know what it says regatta don't know what that word says um, athletic Department 1998. I also liked it because it's got my dip year of when I was born on it as well. But I just thought it was really cute and I thought with like a denim skirt or shorts in the summer, even I just tucked into jeans, I thought it'd look cute. Um, I might even crop it, I don't know yet. Um, but I just like how the sleeves, like they're not them really short sleeves, they like go down quite far and it's an oversized fit. And this, I got it in a medium and it was £8. So yeah, buzzing about that. Um, Oh no, I've just got makeup on it. <laughs> mm. I mean, I don't know if that was yesterday, but um, that is there now. But yeah, um, so there were my purchases from yesterday. So I'm on the bus, I'm going to to the bus stop to the bag, because it means I did not get wet. But yes, I'm on the bus now, going to Leeds. So I am finally at home from uni now. I tell you, I am done with this uni shit. Like, I have had it up to here with this uni stuff. I feel so stressed out, literally I could rant to you, like me and some of the girls in my class went to Belgrave afterwards and we literally just had a rant, um, it well needed because I am stressed out, 
like literally I feel like I do work every week and then and the next week we're like you've got this 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 and this to do like this week's list is endless bear in mind I've got an essay to write and I've got a meeting with Alison who's head of school which I need to prepare for and I've got photo shoots to do and I've got a life to live I've got a boyfriend to see I've got family to see I've got work an actual job that I need to go to like just f off that's what I feel like saying I just feel like saying f it like just get rid Like, I feel like I just need to have a crying let out, like, but I just even can't be asked crying. I don't even know why. It's such a petty thing to be, like, annoyed about, but it's just... It's just annoying. It's really annoying. Obviously, I'm not going to go into details, because people I know watch these videos, and I don't know, I'm thinking, oh, she's bitching, and I mean, I could probably bitch till the sun goes down, but... Basically, my group's just not helping out like today I think there were about five of us helping out like organise like where tables go and stuff and everyone else just stood there I was kind of like you're gonna come help or not or not probably not yet okay that's the usual then literally it's us five girls that help and the rest I'm just not even gonna talk about because they're not worth my time they're not worth my patience I need a lie down I think I might have a lie down like reality of unit it's shit don't go unless you know what you want to do because just to know I'm stressed again. Stressed, depressed, well dressed. Has anyone seen that quote? I love that quote, even though I shouldn't, but I do. Okay, I'll talk to you when I'm less aggy. Had a bit of a calm down. I've um, wrote my anger into my journal, um, hence why my laptop's on there. I've literally just sat and ranted in the journal I've got to upload from a piece of my reflection of what's been going on because I thought instead of channeling it and being getting all emotional, I'm just going to write it down and they can go towards the final grade and they can see the struggle I've had of trying to deal with um, what we've had to deal with. Um, but yes, I feel like everyone's starting to voice their opinions, like it's going getting there slowly. I just feel like there needs to be more communication because the lack of communication is the thing that's stressing me out the most. Um, but yeah, so I'm leaving uni work for tonight. I'm literally, I'm done with it. Like, I'm going to be doing it all tomorrow. Like, I'm going to let myself have the rest of the day off, even though it's like six o'clock nearly. Um, still going to have the day off, but yes uh, as of now i am going to clean my room because it's a shit tip as you can see and yeah i'm gonna sort that because i feel like tidy room tidy mind hopefully fingers crossed oh also i have something to show you and um, because i got into town early so i went to primark with rhiannon because we got there early we thought we're just gonna nip into primark because she needed a number because it was absolutely chucking it down and i saw this top and i couldn't say no, because what am I like? Just a girl, love like to make every day. No two other say. I wanna be like most girls. I wanna be like most girls. Um, so I got this top. It's very me. Um, it was four quid. It's very similar to the mustard one I got. However, it's got this little V cut out in it and I think it's really cute um, and I've been loving it. I've got a white one from Topshop which has got this V cut out and I think it's very flattering. I think it's, oh, I think it's very flattering um, and yeah, I've got a size medium, four pound, bargain, it's really cute, I'm very excited to wear this. Yeah, I literally saw it and was like, this is me, this is me, look out cause here I go and I'm marching on to the beat I drove. I'm not scared to be confrontational. I make no apologies. This is me. If you're not gonna do your work, I'll have a mare at you. <laughs> I should sing that to my class. Um, but yes, as of now, I'm gonna clean my room, sort my life out. Gonna clean my room, gonna clean my room, gonna get a broom and a vat. I feel like I need to put that on my room. Ed, Chloe, when you're editing, you need to insert, um, you need to clean my room by Superwoman into a cleaning montage but yeah let's sort out the mess that is my room I'm lying and I'm always trying to clean my room. <laughs>